Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girly one and only Lady Caroline. Of course, welcome to season two, episode 12. Like, can you believe that 12 weeks has passed already? I can't even believe it myself. Seriously, I can't. <laughs> All right, so this week we're talking about wrap it or slap it. You know what that means? Condom or no condom. Okay, so everybody knows that condoms are a great way of preventing, you know, both pregnancy and STDs. And, you know, if you follow the instructions right, then, you know, you might be able to escape pregnancy or STD, but that's not always the case either. All right. So I myself love to slap it. I liked it. Slapped. What am I slapping? <laughs> Listen, I like to slap it. Okay. I don't really like the plastic bag feeling. You know what I say? But I like the plastic bag something. But in this time and age, you have to be very careful. And for myself, you know, if I'm gonna date somebody, like I want the whole tea, I want receipts, okay? I want receipts. I don't want you to just tell me that, oh, I'm clean. No, not trusting anybody at all. You can't trust anybody because no, it's not like one time when people sick, they look sick, okay? This is a time and age where people will have AIDS, you know, all sorts of things, and you don't know. You cannot read a book by its cover. So you have to make sure you protect yourself, all right? Now, of course, you know, some of the advantages of using a condom one it helps obviously to prevent pregnancy so and that's only one way of course you have different other and different ways and means of contraceptive you know like i use the iud um i used to be on the injection i don't like the pills so you have different things so that's one of the advantages prevent pregnancy uh it helps to prevent this stds of course now a lot of people feel like you know even though you wear a condom, you can't get an STD. That's not necessarily true. You can, but it's just a step to take care of yourself, okay? Uh, one of the other advantages is that it has low, um, low side effects or no side effects. And I said low because, you know, like I said, um, for me personally, I'm allergic to condoms, latex. That's what I'm, 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 I'm seriously, it's no joke. I'm allergic to latex, not even the gloves. Like I went to my doctor's office for a checkup, right? And I came home, it, it had to do with, you know, my vagina, of course. And I remember him putting something in me, but I don't recall him sticking his finger inside of me. And... Uh, when I got home, I was having, you know, this reaction. I was swollen, red, you know, all sorts of things started happening to me. And I was like, I had to call him. I was like, you know, did you put your finger inside my coochie? And he was like, yes. I'm like, how oh, comes I didn't know? He's like, well, I thought you know. I'm like, no, I didn't expect that. But it's like, what happened? And I started telling him, you know, I'm allergic. He's like, why didn't you tell? I said, well, because the nurses always ask. And I think, you know, that would have been on my file because that's something. You know, I really can't do the latex, like touch my skin, so stuff like that. I really, you know, get rash and stuff like that. So I'm one of those persons. Um, so yeah, low side effects. But otherwise than that, you know, like the pills, there's no vomiting or feeling nauseous or you know, appetite or nothing like that. You know, so condom has no side effects or low side effects. The other thing is that it's rather inexpensive, it's way cheaper than taking care of a baby. So wrap it up okay wrap it up wrap it up now one thing that was interesting to me was like there's so many different condoms on the market like i didn't even know there were so many different condoms you have flavored condoms i guess that's for all the people that are into fellatio oral sex you know there are different flavors um they're studied and textured you know like if you want a, a, a bumpy kind of texture or so um the pleasure the shape they have shape condoms like i don't even know what that is honestly and i didn't even bother to read into it because oh my god there's so many options there's warming condoms kiss of mint now this one really surprised me kiss of mint did you know there's condoms like kiss of mint that's again it's like you know obviously tastes like mint if you want to do oral sex so you have no reason to protect yourself because your mouth can't catch disease you get what me i say so you have to wrap it up and do it with a slap slap it up you have to wrap it up sometime my love 
<laughs> all right and you have some that's called the french ticklers okay and then you have the tickling pleasure condoms and of course you have the edible condoms as well so I've never seen an edible condom. I gotta check that out. Like, I'm literally just gonna buy these condoms. You don't have like glow in the dark. Can you imagine looking at a nice dick and it's glowing in the dark? Oh my god, that must be fun. Like, I'm gonna make a serious investment in different types of condoms just to see what it's like. I already made my own investment in getting a whole bunch of um non-latest condoms because that's what i can use but i do not like it i honestly don't but it's no excuse because you don't like condoms to get yourself you know an std or unwanted pregnancy so you have to take um you have to take precautionary measures now i looked up a bunch of concerns that people have and you know you might be in a relationship and if your partner don't want to use a condom that's you know one of the things that people go through if your partner don't want to use a condom, you're dating somebody and they don't want to use a condom, you and that person go to the clinic, go to the doctor and do a full-blown test. That's fine. And then you leave the rest. I guess you got to trust each other. It takes a lot of trust. You have to trust each other that, you know, he or she is being safe and they're not going to, you know, go sleep with random people and bring something back and give to you. So that's not an excuse. If they don't want to use condom, bring them yeah bring them to the clinic and you both get a full checkout like i don't want no word amount i want to see receipts okay because i know if anybody give me something i'm not gonna be walking around being bitter and giving it to other men me i go chop somebody yeah yeah all right so um another concern that you know people have is that they feel like after you've been seeing each and, and this is only natural after you've been in a relationship for a time it's like you feel like you know okay we're not gonna use condoms anymore we trust each other now and stuff like that but did you get yourself checked out did you have your partner checked himself out like you have to do those things you understand don't just say because we've been having sex for a while that you're not gonna have condom anymore and it's natural sometimes sometimes the pleasure get the best of us and oh, jesus just put it on the edge of <laughs> all right um another concern or excuse somebody might have is to say that you know i don't need a condom i'm healthy well you know you're healthy but i don't know you're healthy how i know you're healthy huh how i know you're healthy no we're not doing that not judging a book by its cover receipts okay don't let nobody tell you that to get up in your cookie or to sit on your eggplant <laughs> i'm trying to use decent words guys <laughs> bear with me <laughs> Oh my God, this is exposed, honey. All right. Um, some people, or men rather, would say, I don't want to wear a condom because it affects my performance. Now, if that's your problem, you think that it affects your performance, then maybe you just need to practice, practice, practice. Jerk off in a condom, you know, whatever it is that you need to do, do it. Because safe sex is the best sex. Not necessarily true, but it's the best because it's going to save you some... Um, it's gonna save you in the long run from dr bills unwanted babies um yeah dr bills stds whatever it is and you never know what you're gonna pick up right um somebody says i don't need a condom because i'm sterile or i did a vasectomy it doesn't matter not because you're sterile or you had a vasectomy doesn't mean that you can't get some sort of std or you can't pass it on a lot of times people don't even know they have stds that's the fact okay so you don't want to take any chances like you don't want to change any time um you don't want to take any chances now like i said earlier like you know i'm one of those persons who you know is allergic to condom and the, the, the fact is though or the reality of it is that only a very small number of people are allergic to condoms so you can't always trust someone who tells you that they are an allergy isn't a good excuse to have unprotective sex as there are condoms that don't cause allergies. So like I said, you can get the non-latex condoms. People who are allergic to condoms, you know, they may react to the latex condoms, you know, the chemicals or the spermicide. So what you need to do if you're allergic, then you need to get yourself some non-latex condoms, you know. Spend your money. Take care of yourself. Get some non-latex condoms. So you can wrap it, then you slap it. 
<laughs> All right. Another good one is, you know, sometimes you go out with somebody and the mood is right and all of that thing and you're about to kick it off and they'll be like, oh, I don't have any condom. What? Come on. Ladies, ladies don't like to walk with condom, but you should walk with your condom too. It's very good. Always walk with a condom. You never know. Even if you're not going to use it, but hey, your friend might be getting some and you'll be able to pass a condom on to them. You know, I've done that. You know, always walk with a condom. You never know. Um, keep some in your drawer. Keep one in your wallet, in your purse. Always keep condoms. All right? Everybody know you could get free condoms from the community contraception clinics, you, you know, the sex health clinics. You can get some from the gum clinics, and that's geniturinary medicine. Okay? Some people, some young people clinics, they have places that, you know, talk, um talk about sex to young people and stuff and they issue or stuff you have you know clubs or groups or whatever it's called all right you can also buy condoms online or go to the pharmacy or the supermarket or the vending machine or even the damn gas station you have no excuse to not have condoms okay not getting some actions because you don't have condom and when you buy a condom you want to always make sure that it has the ce mark on the packet and this means that they have been tested and has high safety standards required in europe or wherever okay any condom that doesn't have the the um the ce on it doesn't mean that they're of high standard and you probably shouldn't use it okay so that's it for this week guy wrap it or slap it condom or no condom i won't even get into the disadvantages of using a condom they're pretty obvious if you don't use a condom first and foremost you might get yourself an std and um yeah you may get pregnant if you can get pregnant okay so you definitely don't want to be doing that you want to practice safe sex wrap it then you slap it i personally prefer to slap it but hey safe sex is the best sex all right so your health tip for this week is i didn't prepare one for you i'm just gonna give you one and my health tip to you for this week is take care of your best self okay Take care of your best self. Whatever it is that you need to do to make sure you're okay mentally, physically, take care of your best self. There's only one original version and that's you. You have to take care of you before you can take care of anybody else. Some people like to take care of people before they take care of themselves. And by the time they get to themselves, child, they can't even take care of themselves properly. So take care of your best self. Okay, good. <laughs> So, I feel like I should have done a whole demonstration of how to put on a condom or something like that, child. But I'm not even sure I could put on a damn condom. <laughs> like, I'm misexposing. I don't know how to put on a condom. Hold on. We gonna do it. Alright, so like I said, I feel like this was the right time to put on a condom. But, child, I'm not even the best. This is the best thing I could find that doesn't even really resemble a cop but i figure the condom should go on just fine okay so this is you know a non-latex condom one of what i have and it's extra lubricated and it's called skin that's something that i like um it's non-latex and um yeah it's one of those there are different kinds on the market that you can get so here it goes. So of course, you know, first you want to make sure you check your condom and see to it that there is no holes or anything in it. If it's punctured, don't use it. Okay. Oh Lord, sex education class. This <laughs> vibe <I'm> Scott. <laughs> well, Lord, we had... All right. So yeah, let's go. So there's a little tip when you take it out. You want to make sure you squeeze the tip and put it over the you know the day i'm sorry i don't have a banana or something but yeah this is what you do and you cut the tip and then you know you roll it on wait this <laughs> yes honey and that's it like bam you're ready to go right and that's how you're ready to go it's quite easy like one two three so practice on a banana or something or a bottle you know you have to make sure you protect yourself okay wrap it or slap it sometimes it's better to wrap it up slap it up you know you don't just want to meet somebody and do that all right so 
Um, that's it for Expos this week, guys. Wrap it or slap it, condom or no condom. And, of course, I just educated you on the advantages and, you know, different types of condoms and all of that. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to join me next week. Be reminded that you can join the live discussions on Monday nights um, on the Mixer app, Exposed with Lady Caroline, to join the talk, live talk show. I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Stay blessed. What's up, what's up, what's up? You know it's Monday and it's Expose Monday with your chica, Lady Caroline. Of course, tonight we talking about wrap it or slap it, condom or no condom. And of course, joining me in studio tonight is the one and only Dr. Kevin Bowen. So you want to tune in, Expose with your girl, Lady Caroline. Exposed, separation, reality from fantasy.